Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Friday, January the 18th. It's the first uh, week after the Epiphany, and week one in the Psalm Cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalms 16 and 17, and Isaiah 42, verse 10 through 17. And join me now in singing the first verse of Psalm 95 by Brother Bill, to the tune of Pure Nobis. Come, let us sing unto our God, the rock of our salvation. Praise and thanks we bring before, our songs of joy we sing you. Open my lips, I now shall declare your praise. Alleluia, preserve me, O God, for I put my trust in you. Alleluia. Psalms 16 and 17, and please recite them with me. Alleluia, preserve me, O God, for I put my trust in you. I have said you are my God, my good above all others. I delight in all the saints that are on the earth. But their sorrows shall increase that choose other gods. Their drink offerings of blood I will not offer, nor take their names upon my lips. For you are my portion and my cup. It is you that maintain my lot. My boundaries contain pleasant places, and I have a goodly heritage. I bless you, for you have given me counsel. You also instruct me in the night. You are always before me at my right hand, and I shall not be moved. And therefore my heart is glad, and my soul rejoices, and my body shall rest in hope. For you will not leave me in hell, nor let me see corruption. You show me the path of life, and in your presence is fullness of joy, and at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Alleluia, hear my cause which is right, O God. Attend to my cry, and give ear to my prayer, which does not come from deceitful lips. Vindicate me, for your eyes see the truth. You have searched my heart. You have visited me in the night. You have tried me and find nothing wrong in me, and I do not sin with my mouth like others. Because of your word I have kept from violence. Keep me in your paths that my feet do not slip. I call on you, for you will hear me, O God. Incline your ear to me and listen to my words. Show your marvelous loving kindness, you that save by your right hand. Save them that put their trust in you from those that rise against them. Keep me as the apple of your eye, and hide me under the shadow of your wings from the wicked that oppress me, from my deadly enemies who circle about me. Their hearts are tight shutly, their hearts are shut tightly, and with their mouths they boast. Now they have surrounded us in our steps. They watch, waiting to strike me down. Like a lion that is greedy for its prey, like a young lion lurking in secret places. Rise, O oh God, disappoint them and cast them down. Deliver my soul from the wicked by your sword. From those, O oh God, who are of the world, who find their reward in this life, who you fill with your treasure, they have abundance of children and leave their wealth to their little ones. And in my vindication I will see your face, and I shall be satisfied when I awake to see your glory. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, preserve me, O God, for I put my trust in you. Alleluia. A reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 42, beginning at verse 10. Sing to the Yahweh a new song, his praise from the end of the earth. Let the sea roar and all that is in it, the coastlands and their inhabitants. Let the desert and its towns lift up their voice, the villages that Kedar inhabits. Let the inhabitants of Selah sing for joy. Let them shout from the tops of the mountains. Let them give glory to Yahweh and declare his praise in the coastlands. The Most High goes forth like a soldier, 
Like a warrior, he stirs up his fury. He cries out, he shouts aloud. He shows himself mighty against his foes. For a long time I have held my peace. I have kept still and restrained myself. Now I will cry out like a woman in labor, and I will gasp and pant. I will lay waste mountains and hills, and dry up all their herbage. I will turn the rivers into islands, and dry up the pools. I will lead the blind by a road they do not know, by paths they have not known. I will guide them. I will turn the darkness before them into light, the rough places into level ground. These are the things I will do, and I will not forsake them. They shall be turned back, and utterly put to shame those who trust in carved images, who say to the cast images, You are our gods. Here ends the lesson. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Save us from our enemies, O God, and vindicate us. May we live not for this life, but for the world to come. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.